Autism has been the most emotional file here at Queen's Park since Doug Ford took power. Last week, the government had to back down a little bit after an outcry from parents, and they've acknowledged, here is key, they're, they're enhancing their plan, but most importantly, they have acknowledged a one-size-fits-all does not apply, so they are going to enhance it. Now, today, the minister in charge, Lisa McLeod, went on record and talked to the media and said significantly more money is going to be put into the file. She says it's going to be doubled. We're going to uh, up to double the investment, so it looks like it's going to be over $600 million spend. I was pleased uh, over a week ago, um, after having spoken with the Premier and indicated uh, that we needed some enhancements, that uh, the enhancements I announced last Thursday uh, would have that uh, significant price tag to it. So very proud of that plan, very grateful to the Premier to provide me with a greater flexibility. Minister, how far can that money go? I mean, a lot of parents, of course, want needs-based. They also want no caps on age. Like, how far can can that money be spread and do you think it will make all parents happy? Well, you know what? Uh, this has been an emotional issue. Um, I was able to go back uh, to the cabinet and uh, with the premier's support to find an additional 300 and some million dollars. Uh, we're going to continue to consult based on uh, severity and needs, and that those consultations will happen. And they've started already this week, and they're going to continue. And so we'll we'll settle on what that program looks like with the support of parents and clinicians and others. Would I like to uh, give everybody as much money as I possibly can? Of course I would. But the reality that we have here in the province of Ontario is a fiscal situation that does not allow us to put in a $3 billion program. Now, a little later in the interview, when pressed further, the minister confirmed that the doubling will not be permanent. It's to allow the six-month grace period, an extension of current services, so parents can adapt to the new system and schools can as well. What she's saying now is that it seems that the government is going to put another $200 million into the autism program above the $320 plus million that it is currently set for. Now, a poll out this week by Main Street Research showed the majority of Ontarians, 54%, were not approval, were approving of the Ford government's changes to the autism plan.